You it is good yo it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today we're gonna be going over the new cards that are coming in packs in NBA 2K22 my team so all these original owners are in the moment to month set I've released a separate video on all those if you want my opinions on those but everybody without the original owner you know so like a Gary Payton Hakeem Robert Parrish Clyde, and then obviously we're going over Clyde, Cedric, and Chris Mullen as well because those are rewards. So we're going to be going over talking about all those cards today in this video. Now before we dive any further into that, if you are new to my channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button as we're on the road to 90,000 subscribers. Diamond 75th anniversary Gary Payton. Is he any different from the pink diamond? Hardly. I mean the pink diamond is better than the diamond and to me that's crazy because the pink diamond came out on October 22nd. September, October, we got November, December, January, February, half of March, four and a half months later, the pink diamond version is still better than the diamond version. I, I just, I, I'm stunned. I, I'm absolutely stunned. The card is not worth picking up. It's just that simple. He's it, it, just not. There's better budget point guards than the Gary Payne's going to be, but you might need him to complete sets. Next up, Hakeem the Dream. Now, the first part that is scary for Hakeem is he can play power forward. I mean, that's the first part that I'm like, okay, we got a Hakeem that can play power for. <laughs> okay, I got Don Nelson, so that makes his speed a 97. You get the interior to a 99. Perimeter goes up to a 90. Lateral quickness is still solid. Defensively, he's just absolutely elite. Still has got set shot 18. It is on quick. I hate set shot 18 in, in general, but he does have fundamental dribbles down and can handle the ball a little bit. I mean, Hakeem the Dream is one of the best bigs in the game. I don't think there's many questions around that. You give him a three-ball shoe, maybe a ball handle shoe, maybe lateral quickness, steel block, uh, make him just that little bit better, maybe vertical. He's up there for being one of the best. You give him off-ball pest, unpluckable probably, and then, you know, the limitless chef, those type of things. It's hard for me not to say Hakeem is going to be one of the best centers in the game, if not the best. You look at the power within Hakeem, he does get an extra Hall of Famer. Let's talk about what that Hall of Famer is, because it could ultimately be a pretty important badge, and it is Rebound Chaser. So yes, that is a very important badge, and that makes this Hakeem just a little bit better. I'm not going to sit up here and say he's going to be the best center in the game, because I think D-Rob is still going to be better because of the release. But Hakeem, I think we're looking at at least the second best center in the game. I really do. Hakeem is the real deal in my team you're not gonna hear me talk down upon Hakeem even though I don't love his release he's up there for being one of the best Robert Parrish I mean guys we got a Robert Parrish card with set shot 14 which honestly is a good release that release on quick is scary fundamental dribble style he can't handle the ball but he's got fundamental dribble style and here's the deal Don Nelson I know he does not boost the three ball so you're gonna need uh, at least a shoe on the card but look at his defense that's really what I want to talk about here 94 speed 98 interior 94 perimeter really solid all the way around defensively again a smooth release it's one of those things that is he better than Hakeem I think you can make the case uh but I just I still would give the advantage to Hakeem just because he's an all-around better player gonna handle the ball better and just more complete but Robert Parrish is definitely solid probably gonna be cheaper and definitely a card I'd look into uh if he is super cheap because even at center I mean he is going to be really really solid Got Clyde the Dryad. I mean, Clyde the Glide. He is a 37.50, I think, card collector reward. So I don't even know if he's attainable yet. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. But here's the deal for Clyde. I mean, 6'7, 6'10 wingspan, odd spots for everywhere. 25 Hall of Famers, 41 on cold. He's got quick dribble style, jump shot five on quick. Here's the deal, guys. I, again, don't know if he's attainable. I think he is, uh, and that's a problem, because if you run up against this card in 250, you're running up against the best point guard in the game. Clyde Drexler is single-handedly the best point guard in the game, and I don't even know if it's close. I really don't. I mean, uh, he, he's going to be one of the best defenders in the game, great tendencies, has probably one of the best releases in the game. The only thing I would say is, are his dribble six super good? I don't necessarily know. That's something I'd have to see. But man, he can shoot lights out, play great defense, handle the ball well, has every badge in the game. This card probably is the single best card in the game right now in Clyde Drexler. So you can still make the case Luka might be better because of his release and just how cheesy it is. But I mean, I just think as an all-around base card, it's hard to beat Clyde. You can say Luka's better, but remember, Clyde's got quick dribble style. Clyde is just the real deal in my team there's no way around that cedric maxwell up next six eight seven one wingspan we're looking at a quick dribble style cedric maxwell with jump shot three on very quick i mean 
My goodness, you give him Don Nelson, a 96 three ball, 99 speed, 99 perimeter. My goodness. We're seeing a lot of kind of the change of a lot of things. Again, six, eight, seven, one wingspan. No hop spot from the top of the key, but has one from everywhere else. Goodness gracious, this Cedric Maxwell card is elite. You give him brick wall. You give him, does he got the normal leaner? He does have the normal leaner. You give him circus threes. You give him maybe mismatch expert with that release. Dead eye, chef. Goodness gracious. I mean, goodness gracious. This content drop today, guys, I can't stress enough is so elite cedric maxwell becomes if not the best shooting guard in the game one of them jump shot three on very quick is crazy i mean we got Cassie russell's release right now which is on quick now we got jump shot three on very quick I, I i don't even know i don't even know where to begin on that but i just know pro m heads are absolutely so excited right now and then we get chris Mullen, okay a guy that's six seven six ten wingspan with basically perfect stats and badges and then with Chris Mullen, you're looking at quick dribble style and a very quick release timing. He has Scotty's moving behind the back, which just makes him even better. I don't even know where to begin. Worse, I knew after 250K, we'd see, you know, better cards. But are we kidding with, with what we've got right now? I mean, Cedric's got the Kobe size of escape. And then if you go to Chris Mullen, Chris Mullen over here has jump shot 22 on very quick. Quick dribble style and the Scotty Pippen moving behind the back. I mean, are we serious right now? Are we are we serious right now? And he's got all steps, dribble six, basically, which is just absolutely insane. Are we serious right now with what Chris Mullen as well as Cedric Maxwell can do? Look, I was playing. I was planning on playing Kobe Bryant in 250K finals. That's not happening anymore. Kobe is not better than Cedric or Chris Mullen. It's just it's just not happening anymore. We also get a Hakeem card who is probably going to play as well. So. Got a lot of kind of the change of the guards here today in my team. So a lot of guys that I need to add because of my lineup blocks tonight at midnight. So, uh, so yeah, I've got, I personally got a lot to do. Uh, Clyde would play if I could get him. I'm not going to get him. But Cedric Maxwell, Chris Mullen, obviously are probably your top two shooting guards in the game right now. Uh, you got Kawhi obviously there too, but those two are definitely up there. Obviously, Hakeem. Robert Parrish solid as well. So I don't want to say this is a Friday drop, but if this is what Tuesday's drop looks like, I would say y'all should start getting excited for some of these Friday drops. Because if I'm trying to find a player that I'm thumbs down on, it's probably Clyde Drexler just because he's not worth it. And I mean, if we've got a Cedric Maxwell and Chris Mullen already looking like this, I can't imagine the point guards that 2K has in store. This is just absolutely insane. Absolutely incredible drop for a Tuesday drop the Tuesday after the 250k tournament again guys it's kind of that change of the of the uh, of the of the year man where things are gonna start looking really really crazy in my team you got you got Cedric Maxwell here who's gonna literally be the one of the top players in my team yeah so it's just crazy it's crazy to me how good some of these cards are but I'm super high on Cedric super high on Chris Mullen are they worth the lock in for the majority of you guys watching this video no they aren't now for people who participate in 250k it's a little bit interesting a little bit different Obviously, Hakeem, really solid in my team. Robert Parrish, pretty solid, as well as Clyde Drexler. Gary Payton, not very good in my team. So if I had to say one player is good, it's probably Hakeem Olajuwon, just because you can buy him off the auction house, and I feel like he is going to be pretty cheap. But man, you better start looking at it. If you want to lock these guys in, uh, how much it is going to be, because these lock-ins are way more worth it than past ones. That's going to wrap it up for my video today, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new, and as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.